when people have a gift that is God given, like you, it finds it, it finds you, and then you kind of navigate through. Okay, what is my purpose? What am I doing here? But I really feel like my one of my strengths is songwriting for sure. So I don't know, just through networking and meeting different people, and you know, co-writing and things like that. I really the, my favorite part of the process for sure is writing. So really? it just kind of navigated through the industry and you know that that's what I would I like to do for sure. I feel like as a creative you always kind of feel like you know is my, has my big break happened yet, you know? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think I was featured on Freeway's album. That was pretty big for me because I listened to him, you know, growing up. He was a big deal in my eyes. Um, this this particular feature I'm super proud of and like just amazed that I, the the universe and the internet kind of brought all of us together in different parts of the world. I think that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So tell me how that came about then as well. Oh my goodness. So um, maybe October, November of last year, I started adding hooks onto BeatStars. Yes. And I've been networking with different producers because I'm not a, a full on producer. So I would link with different producers who are on there that make the tracks and then I'd write the hooks and we put them out together. And then anyone could go onto my page or onto BeatStars and lease one of the hooks. So I started that at the end of last year. Uh, the Kinetics who produced the track, I'm really good friends with them. We've you know been doing music for a while. So they were kind of new to BeatStars, so was I. We linked up and did a few hooks together. This Animals was actually one of the first hooks that we dropped on there together. Oh, wow. Um, we have a mutual friend um, that runs High Off Life. His name is Z Rich. Um, he actually has, he runs a marketing, marketing pages on social media and he's really cool with Bongo, Stogie's manager. Yeah. So once we did Animals, he kind of had a light bulb go off in his head like, I think this will be perfect for Stogie. So yeah. he kind of alley-ooped that to them and sent it to them like, here, like, you know, check this out, listen to it. They had a, you know, a conversation and they loved the track. So Stogie ended up deciding to get the track and to keep it all for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. And that was back in January. So I've known like, okay, he's going to do something crazy to this, but I have no idea what, and we've just all been kind of waiting, like yeah. what's going to happen. So it's really cool to see it all unfold. And I mean, going from, going from, you know, having, having done the hook and, and you, you know what it sounds like without all the other different elements and then right. hearing the final product, what was that right. like for you? Oh my God. Crazy. Stogie by himself is, is insane. Yes. So just to hear his verse was like, oh my God. But <laughs> to hear him and Benny on one track, like I feel like I low key was, I am a part of like a small historic moment in hip hop. Like it's really cool. How do you, how do you feel when you, when you hear and see people resonating with you and your uh, sound like that? Because, you know, I always say that uh, being a creative, every, everything that you put out is like, it's like having a baby. Um, it's oh, a God, yeah. part of you, you know? And it's so personal. Yeah. Sometimes you, you don't want people to critique it. You don't want people to have anything negative to say about it. Like you wouldn't want anyone to have neg anything negative yeah. to say about your child. And not that they have right. anything negative. However, <laughs> once it leaves you and it's open to the world like that, what's it like yeah. for you watching all these different reactions and opinions coming oh, in? Oh, my God. So there's always, just like you said, that, that small little line of anxiety, like, oh my God, like how are people gonna receive this? But to know that people, one, can identify with, you know, what's being said with the lyrics, but two, to also appreciate my, vo like my vocal tone and like how I sing and how I sound, that's amazing to me. It, yeah. it, honestly, it, it's a piece of what makes it worth it to kind of put music out, to know that people are feeling it. Or I feel like there are other young girls and women that need to see women push through, um, especially in the music industry. It could be tough sometimes when you're dealing with a male dominated industry. But I feel like women and young girls need to see somebody like continue and keep going and that you can reach your goals if you just keep trying and keep practicing and keep going.